All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another lecture of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components masterclass. In the previous tutorial, what we did is we basically simply created a very small component. It was called Welcome Banner, and we just displayed it on our org. Right? This is where we displayed it on the home page. Cool. What I'm going to just do is I'm just going to get rid of the home tab from here. Let's go to settings. Let's go to setup. And I'm going to go to App Manager again. All right. And I'm going to go to LWC Masterclass app and I'm going to click on this icon and I'm going to say edit. All right. So when I say edit, I will be able to modify the utility tabs that I have. So I'm just going to get rid of this first one because that's not of our use. Remove it. This is called home. I'll say save. Perfect. Saved. Now if I refresh, hopefully it should re-render in a single one. Yes, now the other home is gone. And I'm also going to remove the debug mode for now because it is slowing down things, all right? So we'll look at it when we need it. So I'm just going to say debug mode on the quick find box. And I'm going to just say disable it for my user so that things are sped up. I'll just click on this and I'll say disable. Perfect. So the org is now set up. I'll just get rid of this. Now this highlight should go away when I refresh my tab refresh and this is fine all right so this is our lightning web component that we just created and i want to actually take you through the next bit which is the lwc bundle anatomy right so if you take a look at the vs code part you have this file folder that got created automatically you have something called as the test you have a html5 you have js and you have a js hyphen meta file correct so these are all extensions now just so that you understand very easily, imagine that your lightning web components is component is the film crew. You are going to produce a big film and you have a crew that you need for a film to be produced, right? What all do you need? You need a director, you need an actor, you need a stylist, you need a makeup artist, you need someone who can design the, uh, uh, low, the what do you call it, the poster of your movie. You need someone to, you know, manage the actors and all of that stuff, right? So if you imagine your LWC as the film crew and the final result is the output that you're getting, you can think like this. The HTML is what the audience sees, right? What just happened? This is what the audience is looking at. So what is this? This is the actor. What is the actor? The HTML is the actor, okay? It is what the audience sees. That is the end result in terms of, in, in terms of what you see from your eyes, okay? Who is managing everything? The JavaScript is basically managing everything. Okay. If I go back here, JavaScript is actually controlling everything. So it's giving all the kind of directions that, you know, you should be here. You should be placed here. You should do this. You should do that. You should act like this when you are clicked. All of that directions are coming from the JavaScript file. We'll work on it. Okay. So JavaScript is basically nothing but your director, right? That enables the actor to act accordingly. All right. XML. What is XML? XML is this particular file. This is nothing but a meta file. This meta file kind of tells the entire LWC component where can you behave and what can you really do. Okay. So this XML acts like the manager. What can be viewed? Where can you perform? All of that stuff is managed here in the XML, which is why you noticed me in the previous tutorial marking that this component is exposed so that it can be visible to the audience. Okay, the actor is exposed and the target or you know, the areas where the movie will be launched is these two areas. So I can launch my LWC in an app page or a home page. That's the target that I've given. So the meta file or the XML file is nothing but the manager, right? Then you have something called CSS. Now, most of you already know CSS, right? This is nothing but cascading style sheets and you basically use CSS to actually style things up, right? What you could do is you could put a style here. Right, you could put a style here. Right, you would say background color is equal to white. If I do this and if I say deploy, okay, this style is nothing, this attribute that I've given to my welcome box is nothing but a style. It is called CSS. All right, so it is not reflected yet, but then again, it will take some time because I think the cache is playing a role here. But CSS styles everything up, meaning it makes it a bit more aesthetic, a bit more neat, a bit more sleek. And that's why you can say that the CSS is the makeup artist, right? Then you have something called SVG. SVG is nothing but scalable vector graphics. So maybe, you know, you need to put some shapes, some lines, some horizontal lines, or in any kind of markup that requires a vector graphic, 
right you have a lot of vectors that you use right not maybe in lwc and aura but in the real world when you are actually developing some application or something a lot of people use svgs where do, we, do they use it for example if you have a website right you you see everywhere in the website the footer contains some icons of the social media like facebook twitter those are nothing but vector graphics okay so those are graphics they are minimum very small in size and they kind of do the work that they need to do so svg is nothing but the logo designer that you can consider okay it's the logo designer and then that's basically entire thing that you have right this is what builds your crew your film crew if one of them fails the actor fails to act the director fails to direct manager cannot manage anything makeup artist messes the makeup or the logo designer did not publish a good poster the film will be a flop okay so you have to ensure all the all the things that you have in hand are kind of carefully curated and managed so that you get the lwc as the final result and it is smooth all right and just to understand how these files act and how do they work we are going to create a bundle showcase okay i'll create a new component and we'll call it bundle showcase so i'll go here and how do i create a new component i'm going to say command shift p because i'm on a mac you can say control shift p if you're on a windows create web component i'm going to say bundle showcase again b small s capital and i hope you are also doing this with me just just try to do it if you have not done it right what i'm going to do is close the welcome dot banner files and this right here opens the js file by default i'm going to go to the html and i'm going to actually start writing what i want the audience to see right so let's say i'm going to say hello and i want to actually say hello himanshu okay nice meeting you all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a paragraph tag and i'm going to say the lwc masterclass is something everyone is going to love all right i just put some text here and this is nothing but the html content so far so good nothing fancy right i'm just going to say deploy now see how the files work just so that you understand the bundle anatomy okay i'm going to deploy it this has created the bundle showcase right what i'm going to do now is go to my page here and i'll say edit page edit page instead of standard i'll go to custom and if you notice i am seeing the welcome banner but i'm not seeing the bundle showcase meaning that the lwc component is created but it is not visible or exposed meaning i have to go to the meta file and say that please expose this component first thing i have to expose it so that it is visible to the public i have to release my film okay i say deploy after making this change i can either right click here and say deploy or i can right click on this folder and i say deploy same thing nothing different okay i have deployed refresh i'll refresh it again let's go to the custom section i still do not see it all right why because i am on a home page or more like a page where i want to drop the component but i have not really said i have exposed it but for where for which cities should the film be released should it be released in india in uae in uk in canada where i have not told that to the system so i need to define something called as a target right now targets can be multiple i want to release this movie in three places so i'll say that my target is i want to release it at three places that's why you have to create targets not just single target but targets okay and each target can tell the system that okay my component should only be used in a lightning app page or let's say lightning home page or let's say a lightning record page you can actually choose and write whatever you need wherever you need your component to be present record page save and now i'll say deploy again all right so i've just said deployed meaning i'm kind of managing the manager is managing that where the component should be visible i'll go back here refresh my uh, org and i should hopefully see my bundle showcase showing up here make sense so the very first thing if you're not seeing the component here first of all check the meta file is it exposed himanshu is it exposed okay it is exposed is it given the right targets yes okay then it will for sure show up okay i'll drop it here and as soon as i drop it you see that the template is showing fine it says hello himanshu nice meeting you the lwc masterclass is something everyone this should not be every tone everyone is going to love perfect deploy save and i'm going to say back 
so I can see my second component, second LWC component here. Perfect. See, the first one is now showing the white color. It took some time because of the cache issue. All right. So you understood that the HTML is what you are seeing in the front end. The meta file is basically what is controlling where to where to actually expose your component and how to define where all can it be used. What is the role of JS? It is actually the director. Everything is going to happen here. Okay. So what is going to here? Let's say I don't want to hard code this to Himanshu. I want to say I want a variable that needs to be called name and I want this value to come from the JS file. So I'm going to say let name is equal to Himanshu. All right. I'm just going to get rid of the let keyword and I'm just going to say deploy. This is more like a variable that we have created in our JS file. Don't worry about this export import for, for now. Okay. Just be with me. Name is Imanshu. If I go back, refresh my page, what happens? It's still Imanshu. But how did it happen? The JS file told that the name variable that is used in the HTML file has to be transformed into the value that you have here. And this should, should be Himanshu. Right. Now, this could be Vishalini. Deploy. refresh so this is hello vishalini now so this is the dynamic behavior that the js file that the director is actually directing the html what to show and what to be bound to okay that's the role of js a very very quick short thing nothing fancy so the html the js and the meta file are here and similar to how you have test classes in apex you have test classes tests that you can write in LWC. This is called Jest Framework, J-E-S-T. Okay. This has a set of things available here. You can actually modify it so that you can cover your JavaScript code coverage. That's the idea. Okay. But long story short, is the coverage similar to Apex that you need 75% code coverage? Nothing like that till now. You don't need to actually do any kind of coverage for LWC components on the client side to deploy it to production. But Apex server side code should be covered 75%. That's the ask. All right. Now here, these three files are already here. Okay. I think I might have a tutorial uh, uh, after this as well about it, but okay, let me do this. What I'll do is you have these three files that get created and I want to actually put some styling, put some makeup, right? So you can use a attribute called class. Okay. And I'm going to say the name of the class is highlight. This is nothing but just using a class name. Okay. Class equal to highlight. You can put it in any tag. It is available. Most of the tags. Okay. Deploy. What I want to do is I want to highlight this more like, you know, just bold or, you know, color it a bit just so to show you or let's put a, yeah, that should be fine. Now, how do you apply CSS? How do you apply styling? You right click here, you say new file and you create a new file with the same name, but with dot CSS extension. And you see the logos these are also vector graphics right so you see js html this is for css each one has its own symbols now here in the css what i can do is i can simply say that the highlight class wherever it is applied i want to simply do a background color and i want to put a color here i will get options to choose because let's see yeah I'll just go ahead and say maybe blue violet. I don't know. Save and say deploy. I can deploy this one file or again, I can deploy the entire folder. Same thing. And here on the bottom right, you see whether it is deployed or not. And here in the terminal, in the output, you will see ah, the file has changed. Some changes happened and it has been successfully deployed. All right. Now I have a P tag, which is nothing but a paragraph tag in HTML. This is being written and it has a class called highlight. This highlight class is given makeup from here the highlight class is used and whatever is written here will be applied to that particular code and you operate or you use a class by using a dot in the front simple nothing fancy okay refresh so when i refresh this you see that the background is highlighted for this particular line and it is whatever the color is okay nothing, nothing fancy nothing neat but yeah this is fine let me just you know do something like a white deploy so you see how the makeup is being applied to your HTML. This is coming from the CSS file and CSS file is responsible for all kind of custom styling that you want to do. See custom styling. All right. 
great i hope you got the hang of how the lwc bundle looks like and what is the anatomy and i hope the example was relevant so that you understand the folder structure here we'll look into we'll deep dive into a bit more items uh, in the next tutorial all right great i will talk to you in the next one bye <music>